Hey, what's going on guys? It's your boy AB back again with another toy review video. And today we are going to be reviewing the Takarotomi real size bilingual talking in Japanese and English Buzz Lightyear action figure. On this side we right here we have the Takarotomi real size talking Woody doll right there that we already reviewed. But today we are just going to be reviewing the Buzz Lightyear action figure. So moving Woody out of the way, let's get the review on. All right, just like the Woody doll that I unboxed in the last video from Takarotomi, most of the words on here are in Japanese. Nothing's really different other than Buzz being on the box and obviously Buzz being the character that we are unboxing today. And unlike the Takarotomi Woody, we have 59 sayings on this action figure. Uh, the Takarotomi Woody doll had 62, I believe. Without further ado, let's get this Buzz Lightyear action figure out of the box. All right, guys, here he is out of the box, and he looks pretty neat. Love him already. And I'm just gonna get this out of the way. He, like Woody, comes with his own little sticker sheet with both English letters and Japanese letters. And again, a gross Bonnie decal. Yuck. And I did put my name on him, as usual with all my other toys. Now we all know that the other Buzz that I do have in my room is a Disney Store Buzz that is more movie accurate size and more movie accurate features. Uh, straight off the bat, I noticed that this Buzz doesn't have a retract button like the Disney Store, which is fine. But I do like how smoothly the helmet opens and closes. I actually think that's actually pretty neat. Uh, not a lot of uh, head articulation, like the Woody doll, which, by the way, I forgot to show you guys in the last video. This Woody doll can do the whole we toys can see everything bit here. We toys can see everything. So play nice. That's pretty cool. But the downside of this Buzz Lightyear, it, well, one of them, is that it has some limited uh, articulation, like the feet here do not bend down, so I gotta be very careful with remembering that. The arms do not go further than this if you pull them down, as does this one. Very weird articulation there. I'm not gonna screw around with that. Other than the head having limited articulation, like I showed you. Other than those little downsides, uh, it's a pretty good figure. And I will say that uh, there is no risk communicator, unfortunately, but uh, no big deal. Still a pretty cool Buzz Lightyear. Here's the thing I wanna point out, the laser's kinda different than any other Buzz Lightyear. Now, this Buzz Lightyear, kind of like the Takarotomi Woody doll, uh, reminds me of the Thinkway line of Buzz Lightyears that they released a while back. Not the crappy new ones that came out for Toy Story 4. This is, in fact, probably one of the best Buzz Lightyears that came out around the Toy Story 4 time. Another thing I like to point out that's very different about this Buzz Lightyear is the wing mechanism. It's very different compared to most Buzz Lightyears you see nowadays, like the Thinkway signature collection, collection, whatnot. The wings fold in like that, but this is sort of similar to a very very older model where the wings were kind of stubby at the time and you like push in the wings like that to close them and another thing I should point out is that this whole Buzz Lightyear here yes the entire jetpack here is removable unlike just the back piece that we have in America that's the wingspan love it and uh, to show you a better idea of the wing mechanism you kind of push it in like that very similar to like the first Buzz Lightyear's wing mechanism now, of course, what kind of monster would I be to not show off the wings, how they work here? Ah, that was weak sauce right there. Oh my God. Let's try this again. There we go. There we go. Let's get another view of the back when I do that. All right, here we go. Three, two, one. Now, I will say that I love the way the wings look on him lengthwise. Honestly, I kind of like this way better than that Disney Store Buzz. In fact, these are probably some of my favorite wings right here. Probably my second favorite set of Buzz Lightyear wings. One thing I'm gonna point off before I get to the voice features is, uh, yeah, I do not like the way that knees bend. Uh, yeah. I don't even dare to do it to the other one at this point. And plus, one more thing, I do love the stickers on here. I kind of like the Space Ranger sticker. Now, I know it's not a movie accurate lighter blue, but honestly, it definitely stands out, which is why I really like it. Now, for the English voice features. Trillium carbonic alloy and I can fly. I tell you, I could 
Shepard mission in uncharted space. Let's go. You don't want to be in the way when my laser goes off. Why don't they answer? What's going on? I don't want anyone left behind. The slingshot maneuver is all we've got. Full speed ahead. Now, let's move. Shields to maximum. Another thing I like to point out is that just like the tech or Tommy Woody doll that we reviewed in the last video, this is also a remix version, so it's got all the uh, voice phrases that Buzz had throughout all four movies. Now, just like Woody, you put it in the middle for the switch, that turns it off, then you put it over here. Japanese, now here's for the main event. This Buzz Lightyear right here definitely stands out from a lot of Buzz Lightyears I've had in my childhood and the ones I got currently besides this. Another thing I should point out before I finish off this review is that, yeah, the fingers are all, yeah, they're not like separatable. Not like the collection Buzz, which is kind of a bummer, but y you know, where you gotta cut some corners here. This is still a very, very, very solid Buzz Lightyear right here. My favorite part is, of course, the Japanese speaking feature. Okay, seriously, my bad. One more thing I want to show is that I love the size difference between the Takratomi Woody doll and the Takratomi Buzz Lightyear. It's very accurate and true to the film, the way they stand near each other. So yeah, that's the end of my review. I totally recommend buying these toys. So if you guys enjoyed this video, please leave a like, comment down below, and please subscribe and turn on notification bell so I don't miss a single video. This has been your boy, Aby, out. Peace out, Rainbow Trouts.